Good evening and welcome. You're watching Left, Right and Center with me, Sanket Upati. Three stories that we are focusing on today. Story number one, the standoff or the showdown between the Treasury and the opposition benches is only continuing. It's not stopped. This is day four. Rahul Gandhi reached Parliament. He said that before I could offer an explanation, I wanted to. The House was adjourned for the day. So, in a subsequent press conference, he says, hence proved the point that I make that I am not allowed to speak in Parliament and my mic is turned off. The BJP has hit back to say that Parliament is not your fiefdom, that you walk in, waltz in and then expect that suddenly you will be allowed. So there is a procedure which needs to be followed. Now the big question over here is that come tomorrow, Friday, will Rahul Gandhi be allowed to speak or not and will there be a clarification and then eventually will the house function because clearly for the past four days this has not happened. So in that context, Rahul Gandhi versus government because four union ministers have mounted an attack on Rahul Gandhi. Is this a mic shut or a mic drop moment for these two respective political parties? Also on the show and we'll be showing you a short tune clip this is a new cartoon series which the Bharatiya Janata Party has launched, a four-minute cartoon which shows Narendra Modi who is apparently facing a lot of barbs from the Congress Party and then he just continues. The name of this cartoon is Chalte Jana and it's got a song also right in there. Is this the Bharatiya Janata Party's messaging for 2020? You see, the cartoon showed a lot of things but it skipped a lot of things too. We'll play that cartoon and also what is our impression of that cartoon and what do cartoonists feel and politicians feel about this cartoon. That will also come up on the show. And then later in the broadcast, we'll also be getting you a ground report from Maharashtra where a long march for a long-standing demand of the farmers is going on. What ails the farmers? Why has this become a crisis management deficiency for the government? Why do the farmers have to walk for so long for their demands to be made? But before we kickstart the discussion, let's quickly play out what Rahul Gandhi said today in his press conference and the counter-attack by the BJP. Four ministers have raised allegations against me in Parliament House. It is my right to be allowed to speak on the floor of the House. I requested the speaker today I went to his chambers and I requested him and I said, look, I would very much like to uh, speak. I told him that people from the BJP have made allegations against me and as a member of parliament, it is my right, uh, it is my right to speak. He was non-committal. This should be clear that Rahul Gandhi has to come to the country and come to the people and come to the people and come to the people and come to देश को नुकसान पहुंचाया है और एक तरीके से भारत के संविधान को भी उन्होंने इंसल्ट किया है। I would like to introduce our guest this evening. Tavleen Singh is a columnist and an author. Nirja Chaudhary, senior journalist, is with us. Sharad Gupta, senior editor of the Lokmat Group. Uh, we also have uh, uh, Manjul, who is a noted cartoonist. And uh, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Manjul, for joining us. Uh, we are going to play that cartoon uh, in just a short moment. And Shama Mohammad, spokesperson of the Congress Party. In just a short moment, we will have Mr. Kailash Soni, MP, uh, Rajya Sabha MP of the Bharatiya Janata Party also with us. Mr. Tavleen Singh, I want to begin with you first. This standoff, this showdown for four straight days where surprisingly we saw that the treasury benches were equally guilty of stalling the proceedings in parliament. What do you make of this? It's very hard to understand what they're doing because for a start, Rahul Gandhi said what he did uh, like a week or ten days ago, I think, and he didn't say anything that he hasn't said before. He, it was not an attack on India. I think that, you know, in fact, I tweeted about the fact that he used a little bit of reckless language in the way that he said that Indian democracy was dead, etc. It's not dead, we know that, we're all... But he has a right to his opinion, and he has a right to express it where he wants to. What is this nonsense about foreign soil in the time of internet? 
you know, it doesn't matter where you're sitting, you will be heard. So, you know, I mean, it, it, it's kind of as if there's some sort of other strategy that the BJP is playing to, because it's very, very hard to understand why they are stalling Parliament over this. Okay, Shama Mohammed, uh, what do you make of this? You see, uh, when the when uh, the uh, Bharatiya Janata Party was asked this question, uh, that Rahul Gandhi has come today, and Rahul Gandhi in his press conference says that uh, I came there today, I wanted to speak, and I was still not allowed. The house was adjourned. Let's see if I get lucky tomorrow. Uh, the BJP says that stop treating Parliament as your personal fiefdom. You can't just walk in and expect that you'll be allowed to speak. You know, Sanket, it's really funny. The BJP is saying that don't treat parliament as your personal fiefdom. Mr. Narendra Modi has been treating this parliament like his personal fiefdom for years now. See, there is there are important issues out there. There is the Adani issue right now, and we need answers. It is our right as an opposition to ask questions. Do you remember before 2014? We have the Agastya Westland issue. I still remember it very well, how, what happened in parliament. In fact, we stopped the deal. We asked Mr. A.K. Antri, the then defense minister, was ready for a JPC. Just look at that. Whatever the other allegations against us, whether it was 2G, whether it was school, whether it was uh, various other things, you know, what we did at that point of time, when there was an allegation, we would ask the minister or the chief minister, whoever was there, to step down. And there would be an impartial investigation. There would be a CBI or even whatever they have asked for, we have done. Now, that is because we have a spine, we have nothing to fear about, and we are transparent. And let's not forget who got an RTI, the Congress Party. So here, there is huge allegations against Mr. Adani. There is cronyism. There are many things, you know, um, how the stock market was being manipulated, accounting fraud, his brother Vinod Adani having uh, shell companies in Mauritius and many other places. So what we are asking is for a discussion. And we don't have, we never had a discussion on China. We never had any, you know, demonetization. Many, many things I can take up right now. And the Prime Minister just comes to give his speech, his sermons, like monkey Bath. Has he ever been there for discussions? The Prime Minister is never there. So the BJP does not have anything to question us on this particular mm. thing. And when Mr. Rahul Gandhi came there, just look at how modest he is. He came out there to give an explanation because he said very clearly, four ministers have been putting questions against me and I want to answer in Parliament. I'm a member of Parliament. It's my right to answer in Parliament. And they do not allow that. He's coming out and saying clearly, I'm going to answer you. He never said, you know what, I'm not going to answer for any of these questions. The Bharatiya Janata Party is questioning me because he's not an arrogant person. The arrogance of the Bharatiya Janata Party, the arrogance of Narendra Modi and the fear of Narendra Modi to not give out any answers regarding uh, Mr. Adani surely clearly shows there is collusion, there is involvement of the Bharatiya Janata Party government. Uh, you know, in fact, yesterday when they, they were walking, the members of parliament of different 12 political parties were walking towards ED. Why were they stopped? If you have mm. nothing to hide, okay. let them go with the letter. Let them do a JPC. Okay. You know, that is important. Why not a JPC when you have nothing to hide? So, Okay, okay. Nirja Chaudhary and Sharad Gupta. Mr. Gupta, to you first. Uh, it's not like JPC demand has not been placed by uh, the opposition. In the past also on the 2G allegations, we saw uh, a demand was placed. Uh, the functioning of the house stalled. In fact, a whole winter session wiped out in the year 2010 uh, and a JPC was constituted. Right? But Mr. Gupta, in this case, how do you respond to these allegations that the government itself is trying to stall the functioning of parliament so that it does not have to answer uncomfortable questions? And to that effect, has Rahul Gandhi succeeded in putting the government on the mat? In fact, uh, as, as the TMC spokesperson, Derek O'Brien himself has put in very succinctly today that there have already been 12 JPCs and uh, the outcome is uh, very well known and hardly have uh, JPCs produced any result because they are always dominated by the ruling party. So, he himself wants, means the Federal Congress wants uh, uh, not JPC but a Supreme Court monitored probe 
into whatever the allegations against Mr. Adani are. So, the opposition itself is divided. But you are right, this is the first time that the ruling party itself is stalling the parliament. In fact, uh, ever since 2014, um, uh, when, when uh, NDA has come to power, and the uh, parliament has been consistently being stalled by the opposition on one issue or the other, sometimes it's... Uh, no, so now it is the right of the government. No. In fact, uh, as the tradition is, the onus of running a smooth parliament lies on the ruling party. Hmm. So, if ruling party itself is stalling the parliament... Then there is a problem. Proper. Yeah. No, because so, see, you, you but, want Rahul Gandhi to apologize. Right. You, by you, I mean the government. The government w says that, uh, and many representatives of the government, uh, from inside the house and from outside, this daily, Deerja Chaudhary, there is a daily press conference by a union minister. At 9.15, for the past two to three days, we are seeing that one union minister, every day at 9.15 or 9.30 a.m., holds a press conference and demands uh, an explanation and an apology from Rahul Gandhi. So, do you think then, uh, it will be just for him, for Rahul Gandhi to be allowed to come and give an explanation. He says it is my right because I have been accused from inside parliament. I want to reply inside parliament. I think that's a fair demand that he is being charged, as he said, by four union ministers, senior people in the, uh, in the ministry of Narendra Modi. And uh, there are serious charges that are being made and uh, the apology demanded. Therefore, yes, as an MP, he should be given the right to have his say. Now, procedure, the BJP has a valid point. It has to be under a procedure. You cannot walk into parliament and say, I'm now going to make my statement because you have accused me of A, B, C, D. Uh, so I think that, I mean, this is easy enough to work out, you know, under whatever rule, suitable rule, you allow him to have your say. And I would say, Sanket, very serious issues are being raised. There are issues that the Congress and the opposition are raising about Adani. It's only legitimate that there should be a proper discussion, even as inquiries are underway, Supreme Court monitored inquiries, SEBI is seized of the matter. But still, I think uh, in a parliamentary democracy, it is the right of uh, the opposition to say we want to have a discussion. And the government has normally been willing. Government can put its side of the story, the facts and figures, and where the inquiry is uh, in parliament. So also, I would say there should be a discussion in parliament on the state of democracy in India. I agree with Tavleen. You know, Rahul Gandhi uh, has the right to say on foreign soil what he wants to criticize the government. But there may be a problem what somebody said, Bhasha ka lafra. I mean, going over the top in the way he expressed it. And uh, it has uh, put up people's hackles and uh, that apart. But the issues that are being raised, that very serious issue, and very strong language, that democracy is undone in India. One may not agree with that, that our demo democracy has very serious flaws in India today, and they need to be addressed and looked at. But I wouldn't say the democracy is totally undone. But yet, I think the time may have come to have a substantive debate on the status of the state of democracy in the country, hmm. in parliament. In parliament. So that discussion can happen in parliament. Yeah, before be, before uh, I come to you, Shama Mohammed, you see there is another dynamic which I want to introduce in this discussion and that has to do with uh, uh, a cartoon that has been released by the Bharatiya Janata Party. The cartoon is very interesting. First of all, I would like our viewers to see uh, a short excerpt of that cartoon. It's about four minutes. You can go on YouTube, check the BJP handle and see. Uh, just a short excerpt here and then we'll analyze.
there is a subtle message from the BJP. Modi, you see Modi in a contrast with the Congress, only the Congress, not other regional parties. You see Sonia Gandhi and Rahul who feature in, the two, uh, in this cartoon, but not other players. There is also a clear attempt to position Modi against Rahul Gandhi in order to create a uh, Rahul versus Modi contest for 2024. There is a constant effort at revisiting the past to politically demonize the Congress party. There are comments like Chaiwala, Nietzsche, all of them have been highlighted. And key schemes of the Modi government have been shown in contrast, uh, uh, you know, against an abusive Congress. There are allegations like Raphael, which has also been shown in the tune. And a, a very clear message where there are lots of, uh, you know, a very angry and agitated Rahul versus a very calm and determined Narendra Modi. So that's the that's the key message as far as this cartoon is concerned. But you see this, this BJP tune, is this the way the battle is going to go in 2024? Uh, we have Manjul, uh, who is a noted cartoonist who is with us. Mr. Manjul, I want to come to you now. Uh, I don't know whether you have seen this cartoon or not, uh, which has been released by the BJP. The BJP started doing this a lot. They use cartoon strips uh, for their uh, messaging. Uh, they've often, it has often been said that they are they're, they're better at using campaigning tools than perhaps their opponents. But do you think that this messaging uh, or could you find some other hidden messaging in this cartoon uh, which, which the BJP is trying to use to communicate to its, to its uh, constituents? Thank you, Sanket. <coughs> See, I never had any doubt that uh, uh, BJP <coughs> Uh, doesn't recognize the power of cartoon, the kind of pressure as a cartoonist I have faced in the past like six, seven years. I know that they know the power of the cartoon. Okay, and they are used, they want to use it in their own favor. But if you look at it, this particular film, I have watched it today only after uh, I brought an invitation for anything. So uh, I, I have noticed a couple of things. And I'm pretty sure that many viewers will also notice it. Like, Lord Bhante is not there in the card. Like, GST is not there in the card. Mm. Both the things were, were like, uh, we were told there, that... There are certain events the conspicuous by their absence. Yeah. Mm. We were told that those were masterstruck by Modi Gong. So, Very see, interesting. Is, uh, so, the thing is, thing is this uh, this particular uh, and uh, this is, you cannot expect from a political party to release a film whether it is cartoon or uh, whether it is an ad film or whatever to uh, uh, to highlight their failures they will always try to show your achievements message. yeah yeah their message but you know this and contrast they, with only the congress what do you make of this only Congress, no other opposition so, leader, no Kejriwal, no BRS, no Mamta Banerjee, only Congress. You see, the reason, one reason is that they have invested heavily on Congress. Like, they have invested like 12, 13 years uh, to demonize uh, Congress and uh, Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi. So, and so this... It, if uh, in people's mind, if they look to Modi against Rahul Gandhi, so that gives that definitely gives uh, Modi an edge. Probably BJP wants that edge. Like I told you that they they are not talking about uh, Note Bandi, they are not talking about GST. Hmm. They are so in the, in the same manner they are talking about yes. Rahul Gandhi. Okay, they missing missing wants to come in. Ms. Tavleen Singh wanted to come in. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I, I want to say two things. Hmm. One is that the Congress is the only other national party that we have. We're heading to 2024. We have a general election. The Congress party cannot be, I mean, is the only challenge to the BJP. What I find interesting and puzzling is that on the one hand, we have the BJP talking about how um, Modi is the most popular leader in the world. They love saying that, you know. He's in the world the most popular leader. And it's true his approval ratings are very high. So why is he insecure? Is it insecurity 
or is he trying to target Rahul Gandhi because he likes the fact that when he is up against Rahul Gandhi, he is seen as the most serious leader? Mm. Mm. I think that's a, yeah, Sh Shama Mohammed. First of all, I, I just want to know from you, Shama Mohammed, uh, is this also a realization within the Congress party that Rahul Gandhi is going to be your big face uh, in the lead up to 2024? I think there is no doubt about that. I mean, there is no denying it. And what we see right now is... Every so, time even if we are not a presidential election format, yet we see a Rahul Gandhi versus Modi contest. See, Rahul Gandhi is our leader and that's very clear. Now, what I would like to say is, Mrs. Tablin, Ms. Tablin saying, uh, I'm happy that she is on this, uh, this time, she's on our side more than Mr. Modi. But what I would like to say is that... I'll I give you a right to reply, Ms. Singh. Uh, Don't worry. Yeah, so what I would like to say is that, that uh, they, the Bharatiya Janata Party is rattled, must say, rattled by Rahul Gandhi. Every time they say, ye kaun hai, kuch nahi karega, they, ko, ye, they call them names. But at the end of the day, they get very rattled when Rahul Gandhi speaks in parliament. When Rahul Gandhi speaks abroad, they really are rattled. Number two, Mrs. Ms. Chaudhary is somebody I have huge respect for. She said what Rahul Gandhi had said abroad. And he clearly said also there that this is our internal problem. It's our problem and we have to solve it. But Ms. Chaudhary, 2014 onwards, 2016, 2017, what did Mr. Modi say in China, Korea and even uh, Muscat? In China and Korea, he said... China, were, one is ashamed to be an Indian before 2014. The other place he said it was a sin, sin to be an Indian before 2014. All the business people are leaving. It was a sin. So that means he's insulting all Indians. He's insulting freedom fighters like Gandhiji, Jawaharlal Nehru, Vallabhai Patel, including Vajpayee, their own, Advani, everybody, every leader, every Indian. Okay, I think, I, th I think I've got the point. I've got your no, point, Shama Mohammed. Me... Please do hold on. We'll come back. We'll come back. Ms. Shama Mohammed, as well as uh, Tavleen Singh, uh, Ms. Chaudhary, Mr. Gupta and Mr. Soni. My request to you is please stay on. We're going to come back in a short break, uh, in a short while and we'll continue this discussion. Left, right and centre continues after the short break. Kailash Ji, my question is this. कि आप देखिए कांग्रेस लगातार ये कह रही है कि आप कह रहे हैं राहुल गांधी ने विदेश में जाकर के बदनाम कर दिया भारत की बेजती की और यहाँ पर वो लगातार वो सारे पुराने वक्तव्य और बयान प्रस्तुत कर रहे हैं जहाँ प्रधानमंत्री मोदी खुद चाहे वो चीन हो साउथ कोरिया हो यूएस हो ऑस्ट्रेलिया हो कहीं भी हो वो वहाँ पर बहुत सारे ऐसे बयान दे रहे हैं जिसमें वो राजनीतिक रूप से बुराई कर रहे हैं सत्तर साल से कुछ नहीं हुआ ऐसा बोल रहे हैं ये कह रहे हैं कि पहले लोग सोचते थे कि क्या हमारी किस्मत खराब है कि हम हिंदुस्तान में पैदा हो गए एक पांव हमारा उनका वैसे ही बाहर था तो ये देश की बेजती नहीं हुई ऐसा क्यों देखिए मोदी जी जो बात कर रहे हैं वो नीतिगत कर रहे हैं पॉलिसी के अनुसार कर रहे हैं कि क्या पॉलिसी अडॉप्ट करना थी और क्या की है और जन सरोकारों पे किस तरह के काम हुए हैं उनने जैसे अपने पूर्व प्रधानमंत्री जी ने कहा कि हम एक रुपया भेजते थे नीचे पंद्रह पैसा पहुंचता था उनकी स्वीकार होती है उनने नीतिगत मसले उठाए राष्ट्र की राष्ट्र की कोई अपमानजनक बात ये ये टॉलरेटेबल नहीं है कि इस देश में डेमोक्रेसी ही नहीं है इस देश में लोकतंत्र नहीं है हमें बोलने नहीं दिया जाता यह कौन बोलेगा इस बात को कौन स्वीकार करेगा यह विषय है मोदी जी जो बोल रहे हैं वो नीतिगत बोल रहे हैं और ठीक बोल रहे हैं और जनता की उस पर स्वीकारिता है क्योंकि उसने भुगता है इसलिए बोल रहे हैं और अब हमने क्या प्रमोट किया है क्या हमने प्रगति की है ये इस ढंग का उनका भर्सन सारे देशों में है मोदी जी को मालूम है कि किस देश में और क्या बोलना और देश के संदर्भ में क्या बोलना जी ये कोई ना समझ आदमी नहीं है ओके ओके बारह साल आ, के मुख्यमंत्री है साठ साल के प्रधानमंत्री है राइट टू रिप्लाई टू शमा मोहम्मद प्लीज यस शमा मोहम्मद यू हर्ड द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ मिस्टर सोनी वॉल्यूम इज नॉट क्लियर आई कुडेंट यूर मच उनको बता दीजिए कि नीतियों के ऊपर कैसा होता है 
है शर्म आना चाहिए 2014 के पहले यू हैव आप यहाँ है हिंदुस्तानी है तो वो कैसे पॉलिसी होता है मैं समझ सकती हूँ कि पॉलिसी क्या होता है कि नीतियों क्या होता है हमको भी समझ आता है ना हम तो आप नहीं सोचिए कि, कि जनता इस देश का बुद्धू है वो मत सोचिए जब आप बोलते हो कि शर्म आना चाहिए तो उसका मतलब क्या है ये गुना है आप हिंदुस्तानी है दो के पहले उसका मतलब क्या है और आप जाके बोलते हो कि दूसरे देश में कि कांग्रेस पार्टी भ्रष्ट है कौन जे, जेल जा चुके हैं कांग्रेस पार्टी से आपके जो येदुरप्पा है 2011 में जेल जा चुके हैं भ्रष्ट होने के कारण से आप उसका जवाब दे दो हमारी पार्टी से कौन जा चुके हैं जेल आप बताइए नाम दे दीजिए आप आरोप लगाते हैं लेकिन कौन कन्विक्टेड है एक ही है येदुरप्पा तो आप इस इस तरह के आरोप मत लगाओ हमको पता है कि आपको इस टॉपिक से डिस्कस नहीं करना चाहते हो आप जो अडानी जी है उनके बारे में बात नहीं करना चाहते हो पता है कि अडानी और मोदी के बहुत अच्छा संबंध है आपके जो फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री वॉट इज दे डू उन्होंने कहा था कि दो जब वो एयरपोर्ट दिया था छह एयरपोर्ट उन्होंने कहा उन्होंने कहा कि उनके ऊपर इसके ऊपर आपत्ति था नहीं देना चाहिए था छह एयरपोर्ट इनके ऊपर ये तो फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री ने कहा हमने नहीं, नहीं कहा है उन्होंने ऑब्जेक्शन रेज ओके बिफोर आई बिफोर आई गो बैक टू मिस्टर कैलाश सोनी मिस्टर सोनी कैन यू हेमी कैलाश जी मेरी आवाज आ रही है आपको तक थोड़ा सा डिले है तो आई हैव टू जी आ रही है बराबर आ रही है जी तो शमा मोहम्मद का ये कहना है कि आप मुख्य मुद्दों से संसद में भाग रहे हैं आप चाहते ही नहीं है कि एक चर्चा हो हिंदनबर्ग पे एक चर्चा हो जिसमें ये पता चले अडानी के ऊपर किसने 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 नेक्स्ट का रिप्लाई यस मिस्टर कैलाश सोनी अपने अपने सरकार ने कहा है मिस्टर सोनी ऐसा ऐसा कौन सा मुद्दा है जिस पे डिस्कशन नहीं हुआ और इन्हें किसी डिस्कशन से संतोष नहीं होता किस तरह के झूठे आरोप पेगासस के लगाए किस तरह के झूठे आरोप रफाल के लगाए सुप्रीम कोर्ट के भार्डिक जा चुके हैं हमने वो बात कही कांग्रेस भ्रष्ट है जो बात राजीव गांधी जी ने स्वीकार की है इसमें कोई अपमानजनक बात नहीं है प्रधानमंत्री जी ने यह आरोप लगाया हम एक रुपया भेजते नीचे आता है इन्हें डेमोक्रेटिक किसी इंस्टीट्यूशन पे कोई विश्वास नहीं है सुप्रीम कोर्ट पे विश्वास नहीं है <coughs> सारे मामलों पर सुप्रीम कोर्ट के भर्डिक ता चुके yes, yes, और अभी आपने जो बात कही है अडानी जी वाली अडानी जी का मामला भी सुप्रीम कोर्ट चला गया सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने अपने चीफ अपने सुप्रीम कोर्ट के जज की अध्यक्षता में छह सदस्यीय कमेटी बना दी और क्या चाहिए अभी दूध का दूध पानी का पानी हो जाएगा हम आपके माध्यम से कहना चाहते हैं हम कोई अडानी के और अडानी के नियम विरुद्ध कोई काम के साथ नहीं है लेकिन इस देश के व्यापारियों की भी एक अहम भूमिका है आजादी की लड़ाई में भी आपसे हम पूछना चाहते हैं कि यदि आजादी के आंदोलन में घनश्याम दास बिरला जमुना दास बजाज नहीं होते तो पूज्य महात्मा जी का आंदोलन आजादी का सफल नहीं होता जी बिल्कुल बिफोर शमा मोहम्मद बिफोर यू रिप्लाई लेट मी गेट इन अदर्स ऑल्सो Yes, let me get in others also. Nirja 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 Chaudhary. Chaudhary, Chaudhary, Nirja Chaudhary, do you feel number one that we are heading for a very clear Rahul Gandhi versus Narendra Modi fight ahead of 2024? It suits both. It suits the Congress party to project him as the big leader. It suits the BJP because there is this internal calculation that it's it's much better to deal with one opponent. then many opponents and an yes. opponent that you have beaten twice now uh, sanket i will answer that and then i want to just uh, respond to what shama has said yeah. is that tablin gone or is she here uh, i i'll just check okay now the Not first here point at the you moment, just, yeah okay uh, the, the your point does it make it into a rahul versus uh, modi yes uh, the whole uh, controversy and the way it's played out has projected or the congress has attempted to project rahul gandhi as the main adversary from the opposition to narendra modi and they have succeeded in this to an extent uh, for the bjp it's always beneficial they feel that to have it rahul versus modi a fight in which they think they will be able to uh, get the better of rahul mm -hmm. now uh, 
As far as 2024 is concerned, it may help the Congress to position Rahul as the leader, not just of the Congress, but of the entire opposition. But does that revive the Congress party? Does that help the Congress win elections? And does it lead to opposition unity, which is going to be critical for the opposition in 2024? Unless if the Congress can get its tally up to 100 seats, the game will change. The message will go to all the democratic institutions of India. If the entire opposition by coming together can bring down the BJP tally to 220, the game will change. Hmm. It will not change by simply projecting Rahul Gandhi as hmm. the leader. Hmm. This is my view. Interesting. And now, now, now I also... Anisha Chaudhary, I also I want you to comment. Very quick point to Shama. If, <laughs> very quick point to yeah, Shama. Yeah, sure. And that is, you know, it's a request to the Congress. Rahul Gandhi takes a um, swipe at journalists. You are virtually saying you are sold out the moment he steps into a press conference. Now, I would say even now, you know, the comment too about um, Tavleen. You know, you were with you. You have always been with Modi. I would please request you, answer the arguments, don't look at the message, not the messenger. Because there has to be a dignity between politicians and the media. We are doing our role and you are doing your yeah, role. Yeah, but I, 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 I also feel, Ms. Nirja Chaudhary, that once Ms. you are in this profession, once you are in this profession, you have to I'm develop sorry. a no, very, no. very thick skin. Can I answer? Especially yeah, if you no, are a cartoonist like Manjul. Thick can, skin. Can I answer? You have to be thick-skinned to criticism. Or, can I answer? No, no, one, one moment. I have to get in. Mr. Gupta also has been patiently waiting and then I'll come back to you. Mr. Gupta, a quick word on that cartoon. I will want to ask that question to Kailar Suni also. I, I don't know if you have seen that cartoon or not. It's a four-minute yeah, cartoon. Seen. Oh, so wh what are your comments? You feel this is de a deliberate attempt at projecting a Congress versus BJP fight for 2024. Yeah, that is very clear. That's very clear. They, they, they want uh, a Rahul versus uh, uh, Modi uh, contest. And, and glossing the, over fact, the controversial issues. For instance, Rafael yeah, was mentioned. So every, every party will do that. Every but Hindenburg wasn't. Best, best, every Covid party deaths wasn't. Best. Every GST party wasn't. will put its best, best foot, foot forward. And uh, no party will like to uh, uh, put uh, things which... So you think it. Congress so, so, should release its own cartoon? Of course, Congress <laughs> should uh, uh, use all propaganda machinery huh. to put their, their best foot. But uh, what I say is that uh, right now the entire opposition is that divided. So the only uh, national party right now which is uh, which can challenge uh, Mr. Modi is uh, Congress. So that's why it's trying to denigrate the Congress. It's trying to... Uh, they blame the Congress for everything. What is what has been ill because uh, Congress has also been in power for longest uh, time. But at the same time, I, I also feel that uh, um, BJP is running from a debate. Although uh, the Parliament is the only place where a uh, purposeful debate can take place, hmm. and uh, that is the place where. Opposition can seek answers. Can, can from ask you, I want to ask you a And then can I, uh, we'll end can it I with... Can I just reply to what he said? Okay, quickly please. No, he mentioned one Miss Chaudhary. I never said what she is with Modi. That I have to make it clear. I said, good, she's with us today. That's all. So that doesn't mean she's with them. No, that's putting words in my mouth. To Kailashji, what I wanted to say is that they said the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court, which is monitoring, is an academic committee. Hai. Okay, now this academic committee is basically looking into the regulatory body, SEBI. That's what their job is. SEBI ke upar kya hai, kya galti hai, kya sab. Now this academic committee cannot do summons. It cannot do a criminal investigation. It cannot check out the data. They don't have, have the power. The one who has the power to do criminal investigations is the JPC. They can summon anybody they want. They can get the data. Wo sab JPC kar sakte. Lekin jo ye Lekin jo TMC kya kya hai? What is the TMC saying, Shama Mohammed? They are saying that we all know what a JPC will result in. See, the, why do we have a democracy? Democracy with different opposition parties will have different views. No, that is their viewpoint. I'm the Congress Party. We have we ran sure. a government. So okay, we are, very, we are very, very, very quickly. I, I, I get your point. Shama Mohammed, now I want to ask you a question. Shama, Shama, now I want to ask you a question on this cartoon. 
And this has happened in the past, by the way. No, no. Why should we follow what they want to do? Why should they set the narrative? Who are they? Yeah, qu- qu- they question for Mr. Manjul, please. We will decide what we will do. We are not going to go what they are going to put the sure, narrative. Sure, sure. Question for Mr. Manjul, please. What they are doing. Mr. Manjul, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, your Actually, response. Actually, she was speaking. I didn't want to cut. Sorry, mm-hmm. sorry. I didn't mm-hmm. hear that. Sorry about that. Sorry. See, the thing to... is... Uh, what whatever you may say but uh, this is not kind of cartoon film or something yeah? this is a basically a propaganda me okay and obviously the opposition is free to come up with their own propaganda video against it mm. so um, they, they are absolutely free they want to do it they they can do it but uh, this is basically a political fight and i'm not very sure that uh, bjp is going to keep running uh, going to keep running such uh, cartoon movie films for another year i think this is just a start so probably they will uh, change it with the time because it still the elections are some like 400 days away so this is just their first but you are absolutely right that uh, if if uh, somebody wants to uh, uh, somebody wants to criticize something it would be better if they do it in the same form okay what about you mr kailash soni aapne suna congress ka kya kehna hai unka ye kehna hai ki aapne cartoon strip to bana di usme aapne note bandi nahi dali gst mein jo takleef hui wo nahi dali aur jo narendra modi ne jo bayan diye hain ya bhartiya janta party ke neta jo bayan dete hain wo bhi nahi hai usme puri baat kijiye एक तो बात बड़ा बड़ा हास्यास्पद बात उनने कही कि राहुल गांधी से डरते हैं अरे इस आदमी को थोड़ी सी भी समझ हो ये देश जो है अब नादानों का देश नहीं है हमारी डेमोक्रेसी जवान नहीं प्रौण हो चुकी है ये मिथक दिमाग से निकाल दो कि नेताओं को ज्यादा समझ में आता है पत्रकारों से नेताओं से जनता आगे है और जनता बार बार फैसला कर रही है आपकी कोई बात देश को जच नहीं रही है गले नहीं उतर रही है और तो मोदी जी को उनका क्या संबंध तुम स्थापित करोगे अपने अडानी से जो आदमी अपनी मां के लिए सामान्य अस्पताल में इलाज कराता है जो आदमी कोई स्पेशल प्रिवलेज अपने सगे भाई को नहीं देता जिस आदमी ने पैसा क्यों कमाएंगे मोदी जी मोदी जी ने कोई अपने लिए मकान बनाया अपने मकान में दो ही तीन जोड़ी वो आदमी अडानी के लिए क्या स्पेशल प्रिवलेज देगा ये सामान्य बात समझ लो मोदी का कोई मुकाबला नहीं है इसलिए नहीं है कि मोदी का आचरण श्रेष्ठ है और जनता उस पर भरोसा कर चुकी है और ये सारे जो जमानत पे लोग हैं इनका कितने ही समूह बन जाए कोई पोलराइजेशन हो जाए जब देश की जनता को भरोसा हो जाए अपने नेता पे तो उसका तोड़ केवल आचरण से है आपको हम निशुल्क सलाह देना चाहते हैं मैडम चौधरी जी को कि आप जरा आचरण सीखिए मोदी जी को यदि ऐसा आचरण देश में पैदा करिए आपकी बात में लोग भरोसा करें ऐसा इनेक्टमेंट करिए ऐसी नीति करिए मोदी जी ये है वो है उनके एक एम पी ने कहा है की गॉड से देश वक्त है अभी बताइए क्या कार्रवाई की है मोदी उनके ऊपर 
वो प्रज्ञा ठाकुर के ऊपर बोला संसद के अंदर देशभक्त है और जिन्होंने हमारे बापू का हत्या किया मोदी ने क्या कहा मैं माफ नहीं करूंगा क्या क्या हम तो, बताइए हम, हम तो, तो ये कहते हैं कि एल ने जवाब दिया आपके पास अडानी के नियम विरुद्ध क्या काम किया उसको हमने कानून में छूट कहा दी हमने ऐसी छूट नहीं दी आप मैडम वाड्रा को मकान कौन से कायदे में आपने आज कराए अरे क्या जवाब दो पाकिस्तान के साथ ओके ना इट बी इट बी सच अ प्रिविलेज Ladies and gentlemen, it will be such a privilege. I have I, come to the end of the discussion, but it will be such a privilege to have the same heated debate and discussion inside Parliament. That the Parliament functions, and we see the same heated discussion inside Parliament. Waiting for that day. Let's hope it is tomorrow. Thank you very much to all of you all for joining us. Thank you. All right. Let's now focus on the plight of the farmers. You see, what is happening in Maharashtra is that farmers are. participating in a long march they say that this long march is because of their long standing demands that have not been fulfilled now most of these farmers are walking under the banner of left uh, farmer organizations which is why you see uh, you know the uh, the left flags uh, the cpm flags but apart from that there are certain demands that are being raised by these farmers and the one key issue that the farmers faced very recently was a bumper crop where for onions as well as potatoes what happened was that there was a bumper crop suddenly there was just too many in the market and that led to a situation where they were not getting even their money's worth in the market a typical supply and demand problem now it is very interesting for you to know and that's why we put this graphic on screen that the government had provisioned in the union budget for a situation like this so in 2018 19 operation greens was launched in the union budget this is part of the food processing ministry what is the objective of operation greens the objective was intervention to protect the growers of fruits and vegetables from making distress sale due to lockdown and reduce the post harvest losses specifically uh, at a situation where uh, there could be a, a a problem that they face uh, the objective was that there is there should be no distress sale by the farmers uh, it would have fit perfectly in a situation like this now what is the pattern of assistance the ministry says it will provide subsidy at 50% of the cost of the following two components subject to cost norms transportation of eligible crops from surplus uh, surplus production cluster to consumption center and hiring of appropriate storage facilities for eligible crops which means and uh, that too for a maximum period of 3 months which means the government knew that there can be a problem where there is either a bumper harvest or there is suddenly uh, you know surplus product, uh, production so to protect the farmer there was a provision in the budget but now we come to the reality of this scheme in the lok sabha on the 22nd of march last year 22nd march 2022 in an explanation about operation greens what does the government say they say that of the 200 crore rupees allotted as part of this scheme to help the farmers only 5.5 crores were spent of the 32 crores provisioned in 29 Uh, 2019 and 2020 only 2.84 crore spent in 2020 2021 38 crore rupees were provisioned only 30 uh, 38 crores were spent so in 2020 and 2021 the full amount was spent but then in 21 22 of the 74 crore rupees provisioned only 60 crores were spent so of a total of 345 crore rupees only 107 crore rupees have been spent so far so in 4 years only 31% of this contingency fund has been spent by the government the big question that we want to ask is why you have a provision in the law you have the funds allocated 
and yet you are not spending this money. Why do you want to do that? So, in this case, has the Operation Greens Fund been utilized or not is going to be the big question to the government. But on the ground, what exactly is happening? What are the farmers saying? And will there be any solution to a situation where they have to walk barefoot, leaving bruises and blisters on the soles of their feet? Sohit Mishra with this ground report. Farmers from Sunday have been walking from Nashik and they are going to Mumbai with several of their demands. And most of them have cracks on their feet, they are facing a lot of issues as well as they are in a lot of pain. You will see their feet have been swollen, they, are, they have cracks uh, on their feet as well. Kaki kasha lagla hota ye kai tala hai? Chalun, chalun. Dinduri pasun chalun alo ami payana. Mangte pay suzun ale amche. Kai tala hai? Chappal nahi hai? Chappal nahi. Chappal tutun geli. Chappal tutun geli. Kadhi tutli chappal? Tisri devshi. Tisra devshi. Deva pasun. Par radu na kate ghiun dena re. Kai kai hawa hai sanga? पैसे दिले मी तो कोणी माले चप्पल आणून देत नाही मी ते एक माणसाचं दिले तर चप्पलच कुठे सापडत नाही तसंच हिंड तो फोड आले पायाले चटक बसले कशाला लागलाय कसा लागला आणि कधीपासून तुम्हाला दुखत आहे आम्हाला जिथून मोर्चे निघाला सुरगाण्यापासून आम्ही पायी पायी आलो पूर्ण पायाला रक्त निघातले आणि पूर्ण चपला आमच्या तुटून गेल्या तरी आम्ही मागा सरलो नाही वाईज दी लॉंग मार्च ऑफ द फार्मर्स कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम नाशिक टू मुंबई दॅर अनदर साइड ऑफ इट ऍज वेल नाव आय एम राईट आउटसाइड दिस शहापूर हॉस्पिटल Why Shahapur Hospital? Because that is exactly where the farmers have reached. हे लागलं कसं काय झालं काय थोडासा आज दगडमध्ये चप्पल गुतली ते बी कसं राहून गेले हे बी कसं राहून गेले अच्छा पायात पण लागलंय आता मला सांगा याचा अगोदर पण तुम्ही पुढे जाणार आहात की काय करणार आहात मुंबईला जाणार आहात का काय झालं कशाला जायचंय जाणार आहात पण तुमच्या पायाला पण लागलंय काय काय झालं काय हे पायाला ते चालू चालू लागले हे काय तर फुटले हे पाय फुटले पाय चप्पल नाही दिसत चप्पल कुठे तुमचं चप्पल ते चालत नाही चप्पल घरीच ठेवून देत ते तिथेच चप्पल का चालायला होत नाही का गाडी तेच ठेवून देत चप्पल का चालायला होत नाही का ते तिची चालत नाही ना चप्पल घालल्या इन शापूर कॅमेरा पर्सन राजेंद्र दयालकर सोहत मिश्रा एन डी टीव्ही With that, we come to the end of this broadcast, but news continues on the other side. Stay with us.